What's good, fam? This is your man, Jimmy Conway, BeatsForLyricist.com, music production tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to clean up a muddy mix with just a little bit of EQing, okay? So, a lot of music, a lot of music, when you have music combined, it will combine a lot of your low frequencies together, and that's what's causing your mixes to be muddy, Okay? I'm going to show you a prime example of frequencies that you can't hear but are in your mix. And it's making your mix muddy as blank. All right. So here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to load this guitar loop in real quick. Let's try this again. I'm going to load this guitar loop in real quick. Take a quick listen. Now you would think that's like, you know, <clears throat> mostly like mids and high mids, maybe even a little bit of low mids, but you would think there's like no low frequencies in this, in this guitar loop, right? <sighs> well, there is, and I'm going to show you, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an EQ. Let's get the, let's, what are we going to drag out? All right, so we got the ozone elements up. This is a mastering plugin. I'll leave a link in the description for ozone if you want to check that out. Um, yeah, so we have these little nodes here, and these nodes uh, control what frequency of range you're going to boost or you're going to cut, all right? So down here is your frequencies, right? So the average human can only hear between 20 hertz and about 20,000 hertz, 20K, 20,000 hertz. But most of us don't hear all the frequencies up top and all the frequencies on the bottom. And it's just a muddy mess down here. All right. So we're going to show you right now. We're going to play this loop. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this into a low pass filter and we're going to sweep the high, we're going to take the highs out and just listen for the lows, okay? So we're going to click this node here. Instead of using it as a high shelf, I'm going to use it as a low pass, okay? And if I see some other options, there's a brick wall, one with resonance and one that's flat. Right now, we're just going to. The flat one is good enough because I could change it here. All right, so let's play that. Let's play the guitar loop again. Now I'm gonna sweep down the frequencies. Make sure you, oh, I'm going to tell you, make sure you have your headphones on or make sure you're sitting in front of a good pair of monitor speakers when you're listening to this, uh, when you're watching this video. All right. So let's drag it down here. This is around 30, 33 hertz. Can you hear that? That little area in here is around 33 hertz. You can't hear it, but it's in your mix and it's making it muddy, right? Let's go up. 45 hertz. Can you hear anything in under 45 hertz? No. It's muddying up your mix. You can start to hear a little bit now. You start to hear a little bit of the low end. 
you know, just around 80 hertz, you know, boost it up a little bit more. Now we're getting into the low mid range. And now you can hear the guitar opening back up. I did all of that just to say, basically, when you have any instruments that is not a kick, a bass, put a low, uh, let me get it right, put a high pass filter on it. Put a high pass filter. Right there, I put a low pass. You want to put a high pass filter on everything you have that's not a kick or a bass and, and immediately take out anywhere between 20 and 40 hertz. Now, you want to be selective on how much you take out depending on, you know, what material you have and the context of your mix. But I can tell you right now, you can immediately take out 20 to 25. You're not going to hear that. You can even go from 25 to 30. The average person is not going to hear that. That's more for like, To give a, a, a room shake when you have like uh, like big big power speakers, so. But yeah, make sure you put a high pass filter on every, uh, everything that's not like guitar, piano. Uh, uh, um, I even don't know hi hats. If my hi hat has a little bit of low end on it, I immediately put a high pass filter on it, and um. See, this is the brick wall. So this one this one is more of a surgical uh a surgical type EQing with the brick wall. And as you can see, there's no if I click on it, there's no nodes. I can't even change the frequency uh range of it. So let's let's bring it all the way back here. And I'm going to sweep through the frequency of the guitar loop. So you can hear the difference with the, uh, with the brick wall. As you can hear, it's a, it's a lot more surgical. And now you don't see any information over here whatsoever. And I could probably take out some of the highs too. Anywhere from 20, probably down to 10K. And you could boost your high mids anywhere between, let's say, three to three to three to ten k. All right, here's what it sounds like: bypass. I'm, by, I'm bypassed. All right, so that's just a quick way that you can uh, clean up your muddy mix. If your mix is a muddy, Make sure you put a high pass filter on all your instruments, keyboards, especially like um, if you're playing like a lot of uh, 
electric pianos. Electric pianos has a lot of warm information down there. You don't want to take too much of that out, but you want to take definitely some of it out and, and, and just use your ears. You know what I mean? I, I don't use these type of EQs that much because they tend to make you, let you make funny shapes with them and, and people, you know, go all crazy kind of stuff with it. I use more uh, emulation, software emulated uh, plugins. So that's what you'll normally see me using. But I will rock these, you know, for uh, definitely like informational purposes like videos and stuff like that. And um, if I'm doing like sound design, I'll definitely bring out the Ozone and rock this. So, um, <clears throat> and this is cool because you could do um, mid-side processing. You could process the left, the right channel, processing in stereo. Turn it from an <clears throat> turn it from analog to digital. Uh, pretty cool unit for mastering. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below for the Ozone Elements or the Ozone full package. You know, it may be a little bit more more money, but you get everything with it. But um, yeah, I hope this tip was able to help you in your um quest to make your mixes sound a little bit cleaner. And you'll notice when you when you put on a high pass filter on on your instruments, you'll notice like the overall mix will start to sound brighter. So, all right. I hope this tip helps you. If you enjoyed the tip, please click the like button. Please comment below. Uh, please comment what you would like to see more of. Would you like to see more beat making videos? Would you like to see more? Would you like to get more tips like this? Would you like to get more uh, just straight up NPC stuff? Um, let me know what you, if you want a, a combination of everything. Uh, let me know. I, I'm, I'm here. I'm here. Been going through some uh, stuff, but yeah, I'm here now. So, <clears throat> excuse me. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this tip. Please like the uh, video. Please comment. Please subscribe to the channel if, if it's your first time here, and click the notification bell. I know YouTube might not show my videos to you if you don't click that notification bell. So please click that too and share this with your friends. If you got a friend that may need help cleaning up their muddy mixes and you think this will help them out, uh, please do that. And um, I, I definitely appreciate it. And um, yeah, uh, if it's your first time here, also... Click the link in the description for my free drum kit. It's a free drum kit if it's your first time here. Even if it's your 10th time here and you never downloaded it before, make sure you go get that. Um, also, check out Loop Cloud. That's my number one spot to get royalty-free drums and royalty-free loops of any kind. They got over 4 million uh, loops and one-shots that you can download. They even got some free ones you can download. I'll leave a link in the description for that. Make sure you check out the Loop Cloud link and the Loop Masters link too. All right? This is your man, Jimmy Conway. Beats for, Beats for Music production tips. And I'm out. Peace.